Hey guys, uh, trying to make this video, but I want to keep the lighting constant. It's so hard to do on phones. Anyway, I'm in the graveyard. You know, I drive all the way to the graveyard for peace and quiet. I get down, I get set up, I get all my cameras out, light up a cigarette, I'm relaxing, zenning under the cedar trees, and I'm feeling good, and everything's rocking, and I'm just about to make the video, and guess what? The fucking lawnmowers show up right behind me. There's fucking 100 acres of goddamn, goddamn, 100 acres of fucking cemetery. And they show up right behind me. I'm like, what are the fucking odds of that? Never fucking fails. Ever. Ah. So I got up and left and went to a new place. Here I am. Anyway, it's quiet here. So, this is called... I forgot what it's called. I'll put it in the... Anyway, it's about my neighbor or one of my girls, one of the prostitutes that live in my building. She's cracked out on drugs. She's the one who's dating Chris and they fought every night for fucking months and months and months. Yelling and screaming. I got video recordings of it. But anyway, just wanted to make this video. I was driving down I left the building on my bicycle. I was coming around the corner in the parking lot. And she was up front, left-hand side, heading towards the sidewalk, walking her dog. I was coming up behind her to pass her. And my bike hit a bump on the, in the parking lot. The chain around my steering wheel, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. Anyway, the chain bounced off the bar and made a loud crack noise. Just as that happened, I'm looking at her. She turned around. She turned around. She was walking her dog. She turned around real fast. <laughs> looked at me. And she went, I fucking freaked out for what I saw. I don't know how this works. I have an idea. The disease in the head. The disease in your head manifests and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. She looked like the Sith, Darth Maul. Imagine Darth Maul with pointed ears and a black face, black on black, black shiny, black. It seemed the sides of her face were shiny and the, in the middle was sort of fleshy black, a flat black. Anyway, her hair disappeared. She was bald. Her ears were sticking up like fucking pointed. I nearly crashed my fucking bike. I almost had to be a fucking heart attack. I never seen nothing like that. Not out of a person. And she hissed at me just like Darth fucking Maul of the fucking Star Wars. Fucking hissed like a snake. <sighs> just like that. I couldn't believe it. Never seen that shit before. She turned around and hissed at me. And her face was Darth Maul with ears sticking up. Like a, a fucking proper ears, like Satan ears, like dog pointed ears, like on a point center. Or Doberman pincher pointer ears. Fuck, you know what I mean. I couldn't believe it. Fucking almost had a heart attack. Anyway, she hissed at me, turned around, and, left, and kept on walking. I'm trying to fucking comprehend what I fucking just saw freaked me out. Then I got home to thinking, what the fuck did I just see? 
her soul, her disease, the disease in your head stems from a past trauma, probably when she was young. And that past trauma, if you don't deal with it in your head, grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And when it's triggered, you manifest not necessarily your flesh, but yeah, your flesh too. Yeah, I've seen I've seen flesh manifest into a different person. I fucking swear. But anyway, the soul comes out on the flesh. Soul is released, or it manifests from the illusion into reality. And you see, I fucking saw it. I'm not lying to you guys, man. I seen that shit. There was a World War II guy from America. He was a customer at the coffee shop. I'm gonna give you an example. And he went to Vietnam. He was fucking 75 years old. But he was 18, I think. Wow, he was young when he got drafted to go to Vietnam. One day, 40 years, fucking years later, I'm working in the coffee shop and I'm talking to him. And we're talking about Vietnam. He had a fucking collection of ears. I saw them. Ears. Fucking ears. He had them at home. I went and saw them at his place. He had fucking dead ear, dead people's ears he cut off from the people he shot in Vietnam. Anyway. I was talking to him one day at the coffee shop. And I'm, uh, I'm sitting at the table with him, talking. He's relaxing. And all of a sudden, he started having a seizure. And I was watching him, making sure he's okay. He's just sitting in, his, sitting in the chair corner, shaking back and forth, like checked out. Totally checked out. And he's sitting there. And I watched him physically turn into a 18 year old. He went from an old wrinkly man into a fucking 18 year old kid. I just sat there, my fucking jaw dropped to the floor. No one else witnessed it. He physically manifested. Physically manifested into an 18 year old kid of himself. And I thought, what the fuck does that? What can do that? The trauma trauma of being drafted and going to war basic training you're not going to war you're a normal kid and all of a sudden you're fucking stuck in basic training and you're going to Vietnam to kill people and die your government does this they don't give a fuck about you man they don't give a fuck about you it's one thing fighting a war if your heart and soul and mind is into it and you have no fucking choice because the enemy's coming to kill you and your family there's another the trauma is going to fight for your government because they're going to kill you if you don't or you get 20 years in jail or you're a draft dodger I'm not saying I don't fucking know. I, w I went through the same thing as he did. As Daniel Boone. I had no fucking choice. I was out hunting. Having a good time. Next thing I know, the fucking British are coming. The fucking French are coming. And around every fucking tree is an Indian. Trying to kill me. And I'm in the frontier. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just wanted to fucking take pictures of... Well, not take pictures, but see animals and explore. That's all. That's all. That's all I was into. But back to the psycho bitch on the bike. 
Holy fuck. Darth Maul turned around and looked at me, man. And hissed. She fucking hissed at me. Hissed. I'm like, are you shitting me? Man, my ass was puckered on that bike. I got the fuck out of there. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was fucking five feet away from her. Look at her dead in the eye. And her fucking face. Your classic Lucifer. Classic Lucifer face. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Fuck. Guys, I swear to God, I swear to fucking God and Christ. Everybody, I saw it physically with my own eyes. I couldn't tell reality in her face. And, and what I saw, I couldn't tell what was real and what was ghosty. Because I've seen people have ghost images around their face that look really real. And I've seen ghost spirits walking that looked 100% real. You never would have known they were a ghost. Never would have known. That's how real they were. But the manifestation of what I saw in this girl. Her fucking ear, black, black ears sticking up. Fucking up, like this high. And her face, classic Lucifer face. Looked like Darth Maul. Without the red shit. The red stripes. And it was black on black. Shiny black on glossy black. Or something. And she's a white person. She's a white girl. I wouldn't touch her for a 10 foot fucking pole. But. And she's psycho. Ooh. Drug addicted. Hero, ex heroin addict. She's on fucking. The new Chinese shit drug. Whatever. And who knows what else. Smokes pot. Fucking. Fucks everyone in the apartment building so but me I ain't nope I ain't into that and fuck I ain't got laid in 10 years that tells you something I don't give a fuck if there ain't love involved fuck it I don't care I am not fucking that sick but some scary shit that is some scary shit scary shit later guys I'll show you the front hold on oh, this is pretty nice anyway oh <sighs> That's another video down. Time to make another one.